Wikileaks lance une collecte de 100 000 euros pour récompenser la révélation du secret le plus recherché en Europe, le traité de libre-échange transatlantique. This is something enormous. It is about a final control. And is, it's the United States saying there may be another power in the world, but we will be the ultimate power. The TTIP is the most important thing that is happening in Europe right now. It's a secretive deal being negotiated between Europe and the United States. Et qui, une fois signé, va renforcer le plan des États-Unis de créer un nouveau bloc mondial qui va garantir la domination de ses plus grandes entreprises. Pour comprendre pourquoi, nous devons revenir aux années 1950. Après la Seconde Guerre mondiale, les États-Unis représentaient la moitié de l'économie mondiale. Leur influence était incomparable et ils avaient le pouvoir de rédiger les règles du commerce international à leur avantage. L'Organisation mondiale du commerce, l'OMC, a été créée dans ce contexte. Les États-Unis en ont dicté les règles en faveur du commerce américain. Mais depuis que les économies chinoises et indiennes ont rejoint l'OMC, la reine est devenue plus démocratique et les États-Unis contrôlent plus difficilement ses prises de décision. At the WTO, at its Doha rounds, uh, India spoke up and Brazil spoke up, and the US lost control. I think it's uh, no use uh, beating around the bush. Uh, this uh, meeting has uh, collapsed. Les États-Unis avaient besoin d'une nouvelle stratégie pour maintenir leur domination. Donc, à l'américaine, ils ont vu grand. Pour court-circuiter l'OMC, ils ont créé les plus grands accords internationaux que le monde ait jamais connu. Ils les appellent les trois grands T. Le Partenariat Transpacifique, ou TPP, le Traité de Libre-Échange Transatlantique, ou TAFTA, et l'Accord sur le Commerce et les Services, ou ACS. Tous ces accords sont négociés en secret en ce moment même. We only found out when Wikileaks uh, was able to leak parts of them. And what's interesting is when you look across all of these deals, whether it be TTIP, TPP or TISA, China is excluded, but also Brazil, Russia, India, South Africa, they're all excluded because those are the emerging economies. What uh, is not often understood is that these agreements are part of a geopolitical war. Uh, this is a new war which is taking place between the United States and China. Uh, the United States is very scared of the rise of China, so it has moved uh, to militarily encircle it uh, through what is called the pivot to Asia, and now it's moving on to doing that economically. The basic idea which comes across from reading US strategy papers is the construction of a new grand enclosure. And to put inside this grand enclosure, the United States, 51 other countries, 1.6 billion people, and two thirds of global GDP. Uh, to integrate uh, Latin America away from Brazil and towards the United States, to integrate Southeast Asia away from China and towards the United States, and to integrate Western Europe, pulling it away uh, from Eurasia as a whole and towards the Atlantic. Des trois grands T, Wikileaks a révélé quatre chapitres du TPP qui ont un impact sur 12 pays des Amériques et de l'Asie du Sud-Est. Nous avons également obtenu et communiqué le texte central du ACS qui affecte 52 pays, dont l'Union Européenne. Mais presque tout TAFTA reste un secret. Quand il sera ratifié, TAFTA couvrira la moitié du PIB mondial et affectera chaque pays membre de l'Union Européenne. Les membres du Parlement européen sont confrontés à des limitations d'accès à l'accord proposé. Oui, j'ai trouvé ça incroyable aussi, que pour quelque chose qui est un accord de travail, ce n'est pas une question de la vie et de la mort en termes de sécurité, where maybe you can understand some restrictions, and we don't even like those very much, but for a trade agreement, you know, that we can't actually make notes about what it is we're reading, issues that we might want to take away to look into, which actually might reassure us, you know, if we really were able to sort of take this away and look at it in depth. We don't have access to the key documents, the most important ones, because the devil is in the detail. When it comes to trade agreements, you need to know exactly what's in the text so that you can assess what the impact's going to be. 
If EU parliamentarians want to see the TTIP, they have to call the US Embassy and make an appointment. The appointments are only available two days a week for two hour time slots. Only two parliamentarians are permitted at once. They go to the US Embassy, they have to hand in every, every electronic device, so they cannot possibly make a copy. They must agree to keep everything confidential, and then they're led to a secure reading room where two US Embassy guards watch everything that they do. How can EU parliamentarians possibly understand what they're negotiating for Europe under these circumstances? The plus grandes sociétés mondiales ne rencontrent pas ce problème. Elles ont reçu un accès VIP dès le premier jour et ont eu une influence majeure dans les négociations. People, the likes of you and I, are excluded. Governments, to a great extent, are excluded. Those who are included are the multinational corporations. These agreements are basically corporate ownership agreements. The funny thing about free trade agreements, as we understand them, is they often have nothing to do with trade in the sense of the mutual lowering of tariffs. What they're about is enshrining an investor rights regime in the respective countries and ensuring that corporations can run wild in the respective economies with very, very little regulation or impingement by government or authorities. These treaties will have huge, huge implications for literally almost every critical issue that an individual citizen or community would care about. Health, education, the environment, uh, privacy, access to medicines, I mean, the list could go on. Un aspect essentiel et des plus critiqués de TAFTA est un système appelé le mécanisme de règlement des différends entre investisseurs et États, ou ISDS. C'est un tribunal international secret qui permet aux entreprises d'attaquer les États en justice pour presque n'importe quelle raison qui affecte leur investissement. If a protest affects their profits, they can sue. If laws affect their, the, their profits, they can sue. If um, uh, new regulations might impact uh, where, where what they want to do with their money, they can sue. This is a new power which will be handed over to US corporations to sue the governments of Europe in a parallel judicial system which is available to them alone. So people have no access to it, domestic firms have no access to it, governments have no access to it. It's just there for foreign investors, in this case, US corporations. S'appuyant sur l'histoire de l'ISDS, des observateurs préviennent que la souveraineté européenne et la démocratie courent un grave danger. Des procédures en arbitrage similaires ont inclus dans le passé les exemples suivants. L'entreprise suédoise Vattenthal a poursuivi l'État allemand pour 3,7 milliards de dollars contre la suppression progressive de l'énergie nucléaire. L'entreprise British American Tobacco a poursuivi en justice l'Australie contre une loi restreignant la publicité pour les cigarettes. Quant à l'entreprise française Veolia, elle a poursuivi l'Égypte contre l'augmentation de son salaire minimum. Les défenseurs de TAFTA disent que, pour que l'Union européenne et les États-Unis deviennent un marché unique, les barrières de régulation doivent être éliminées. De cette façon, par exemple, un producteur américain de ceintures de sécurité déjà commercialisées sur le marché domestique ne serait pas soumis à d'autres tests de sécurité puisque l'Union européenne reconnaîtrait les standards de sécurité américains. Ils soutiennent que cela permettrait de faire des économies, créerait des emplois et baisserait les prix à la consommation. Mais quels sont les standards de sécurité américains So in the USA, 70% of all processed food sold in supermarkets contains genetically modified ingredients. Whereas in the European Union, we've said quite clearly we don't want GM ingredients in our food chain. Similarly, in the US, 90% of all beef is produced using growth hormones, which have been found to be carcinogenic in humans. So they're banned in the European Union. And what the US government is saying is that under TTIP, under the free trade rules that they want to bring in, European consumers don't get the right to choose. TAFTA touche au plus important secteur public en Europe, y compris l'éducation, l'eau, les trains, la poste. Et de façon plus controversée encore, il concerne aussi les services de santé publique. What is so scary about this is that corporations want to lock in their power. So they not only want increased power, but they want to make it impossible for sovereign governments to reverse the changes which are going to give them power. So, for example, with TTIP, if it passes with ISDS in it, the privatization of the National Health Service, which is happening in the UK, can never be reversed. What is democratic about an enormous um, imposition of power on countries whose citizens 
have no way of knowing what's going on, of debating it, or influencing their government in its decision. Um, that's anti-democratic. The history of these agreements shows that they're very difficult to change unless people can see what's in them. And that's why they're kept secret. Because when the contents are revealed, uh, it generates an opposition. Wikileaks a considérablement réussi à repousser la ratification du TPP et à ouvrir le débat autour de lui, ainsi que de l'ACS, en publiant les ébauches des textes confidentiels. Notre publication de la proposition d'un accord précédent entre les États-Unis et l'Union européenne l'a entièrement détruit. 100 000 euros pour le secret le plus recherché par l'Europe, le traité de libre-échange transatlantique. Aidez le monde à devenir plus transparent. À vous de jouer. Rendez-vous sur wikileaks.org/ttip-reward.